2018 Volvo V90 review. If you're a luxury wagon enthusiast, this new Volvo V90 can be something you're going to lust after. Volvo's wagon-rich history is on display with all the 2018 V90, but those expecting a well-used Volvo wagon experience might be in for just a shock. The V90, just like the related S90 sedan and XC90 SUV, is steeped in tech and magnificence. If you're a wagon enthusiast, this new mid-sized luxury wagon is a thing you're going to lust after. Based on exterior dimensions, the modern V90 is incredibly similar for the Mercedes-Benz E-Class wagon. But the V90's exterior styling causes it to be look decidedly longer and sleeker as opposed to E-Class. Inside, the V90 shares precisely the same design and materials philosophy as being the S90, using a large, situated touchscreen display, attractive wood and leather materials for that inscription models, and carbon fiber and aluminum for that high design. Ergonomics are ideal for long-distance driving, and Volvo offers fold-down booster seats to the outer two rear seat positions to assist your young one's transition from child safety seats to regular seats. It's correct that a crossover SUV may make more sense from the practical standpoint. But here's another if the notion of driving around inside a glorified box doesn't fascinate your visual senses. The V90 also supplies a measure of exclusivity without compromising a lot of on real world use. If these attributes attract you, the 2018 Volvo V90 might be a great choice. The 2018 Volvo V90 Inscription T6 Its all wheel drive system offers sure footed capability in all of the seasons and, while using right tyres, increase the risk for V90 a great ski mobile. The T6's four-cylinder engine is turbocharged and supercharged for the boost and souped up that matches nicely with all the Alwachi refined V90's ride and handling. Combined, these traits make a practical daily driver into an engaging vacation machine. Trim levels and features All 2018 Volvo V90s come wonderfully equipped, so you're basically spending money on powertrains. The R Design T5 and Inscription T5 start the lineup off using the lowest power and front wheel drive. Some might find the T5 underpowered, particularly if fully loaded. The R Design T6 and Inscription T6 provide more power and all wheel drive that better matches the suspension and chassis. There's also a V90 Cross Country that includes increased ground clearance and all wheel drive, as well as the engine perfectly located at the T6. It's reviewed here. The Volvo R Design T5 and Inscription T5 are equipped to nearly exactly the same level and differ in interior materials, seat designs and colors. They both are powered by way of a 2.0-litre turbocharged four-cylinder engine, 250 horsepower, 258 pounds to feet, driving merely the front wheels by using an 8-speed automatic transmission. The inscription comes standard with heated and ventilated comfort seats, leather upholstery, as well as its own exterior and interior visual trim package. The R design comes with a unique sport suspension calibration, comes standard with paddle shifters, and gets sport seats and R design specific interior and exterior trim, for example front and rear fascias, wheels and roof frails. They both come standard with navigation. A panoramic roof and plenty of safety tech including blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control, emergency braking and lane keeping assist. Optionally, you can a convenience package, with a top-down camera system, heated washer nozzles, a flip-up partition within the trunk area that holds grocery bags, with an automated parallel or perpendicular parking system. The R Design T6 and Inscription T6 are powered by way of a 2.0 litre four cylinder engine that's both turbocharged and supercharged. At maximum power, it generates a stronger 316 horsepower and 295 pounds to feet of torque. And unlike the T5, the T6 is included with all wheel drive. Otherwise, on the subject of the interior and exterior, the T5 and T6 are essentially the identical. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically is available in multiple versions that happen to be fundamentally similar. 
The S in this particular review derived from our first drive in the 2017 Volvo S90 T6 inscription sedan, turbo and supercharged 2.0 liters inline 4, 8 speed automatic, AWD. Note, the S90 and V90 share identical powertrains and interior and exterior elements. Assigned through the additional cargo volume and side rear, the two main vehicles are essentially identical. Our findings remain broadly applicable for the V90. Driving The V90 T6 inscription doesn't wear you with performance pedigree, but it is plenty fast when contacted. The steering feels reasonably precise but needlessly heavy. The car's mass also causes it to become less snappy than its rivals in quick turns and corners. It can still hustle, however it is not a race car. Acceleration The T6 engine's turbo supercharged tandem whips the V90 to highway merging speeds immediately. Sounds raspy when asked, but does the work. Plenty of power almost anywhere within the first six gears, seventh and eighth are fuel savers only. Braking Firm, solid pedal feel. Transmits confidence in stopping power, particularly important because this is a 4,000 plus pound car, 4,200 pounds to all wheel drive trim. Steering Requires more effort compared to a cruise oriented premium car should, yet not sharp enough to get called sporty. Good feel on center and sense decent road feel back for the driver, but extended driving will induce some fatigue. Handling all-wheel drive and grippy tires signal sporting intentions but feel outmatched from the car's mass. Able although not inspired handling, this doesn't happen feel committed or quick to alter directions. Drivability A refined driving character oriented more to comfort than speed or sport. Comfort mode is just too sedate and dulls the V90's sensors and accelerator response. Sport mode could be the default for almost all drivers seeking some spirit. Comfort What the V90 lacks in heart racing performance, celebrate up for in high class cabin comfort. You'll think you're driving a hot, modern hotel lobby. Ride quality suffers when built with optional 20 inch wheels. Smaller wheels might ease the thumping we observed. Seat comfort Excellent shape and support. Firm but pliable. 10 way power adjustments include thigh extenders and upper and lower lumbar. Easy to dial in comfort and adjust for sustained comfort during long drives. Ride comfort. Regal and undisturbed of many road surfaces but jostles being a race car over worse bumps and imperfections. Our test car was included with optional rear air suspension, which helped and also optional 20-inch wheels, which probably didn't. Noise and vibration Wind and road noise is well suppressed, but there is however a dull tire roar through the low-profile tires. Engine noise pipes in over the speakers. Not a bad sound, however, not worth highlighting either. Climate control Stylish center console vent design with directional vents and adjustable fan speed for rear seat passengers. Some fan noise on the seat coolers, however it's muted. Most functions accessed via touch screen menu rather than buttons and dials. Interior The V90 concedes not its rivals in cabin design and materials. This is a first rate interior all over, from upholstery touch points and surfaces, and infotainment integration. However, large rear pillars create blind spots. Is useful. Usual Volvo control quirks, for example, button by having an arrow tipped open circle and plus symbol inside indicates both set cruise and increase speed. But the touch screen is intuitive and it's really easy to access primary nav, phone, audio and climate functions. Getting in, getting out. Easy enough to penetrate and exit leading seats, which has a wide door swing and aperture. The sloping rear roof line means taller passengers ought to stoop slightly to find yourself in the rear seats. 
driving position. The steering column has manual tilt and telescoping, community. Should be power adjustable when it reaches this price. There's no trouble locating a good position for just a 5 foot 10 driver, so we wouldn't anticipate damage to taller or shorter drivers. Roominess. Just shy of 36 inches relay groom, enough to get a 6 foot passenger seated behind a 6 foot driver. Plenty of shoulder room and hip room front and back. Visibility. The long roofline and wide pillars inhibit rear corner visibility, but generally not a problem to quickly assess blind spot before a lane change or when reversing. Thankfully, blind spot monitoring is standard. Quality. Appears manufactured to high quality standards. Time will state with Volvo's latest group of new products, but on the eye. The V90 is free of charge of unsightly gaps and improper fit issues. Early impressions suggest Volvo sweated the main points. Utility A 60-40 split folding rear seat using a long item slash ski pass through improves flexibility. Optional hands-free trunklet and also a 12 volt outlet within the trunk at tart exercising. Errand running and tailgating utility. Technology we sampled merely the high-end music system, nonetheless it sounds worth it. Our Eurozone navigation system also impressed featuring its precision. Wireless connectivity comes via 3G but needs to be 4G only at that level. Autonomous driving features work nicely both on the road and in around town traffic. Audio and navigation. Optional Bowers and Wilkins sound system is top shelf. Only slight bass distortion when cranked, standard head unit unavailable to check. Turn-by-turn -turn navigation is impressively accurate, even if it was a European version. Smartphone integration. No difficulty with standard Bluetooth connections. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity is standard. Driver aids. Pilot Assist Coordinates Adaptive Cruise Control. Steering and lane keeping assist systems for semi-autonomous driving that works well at highway speeds plus in stop and go traffic. Blind spot monitoring as well as a 360 degree camera can be obtained.